Entertainment Safari. Welcome to Entertainment Safari with Steve and Izzy. I'm Izzy and that's Steve. Hi. <laughs> Great intro. Welcome to another episode of Entertainment Safari with Steve and Izzy. It's good to be back with you guys in the summer, so it's good times. Now, um, today's episode is a little different. We've teased it before what we're doing today, but we're not talking about a movie today. We are talking about a television show. We like to binge TV shows together. Um, and the one we're talking about today is actually one that I've seen many, many a times. It's an old favorite for me, but Steve hadn't seen it. So I had Steve watch Friends with me. So before we get too far into it, Steve, what was your first impressions of Friends? I can see why it would be iconic. It was very funny. Uh, they definitely had an ensemble cast, which kind of kept things pretty balanced, where they had a lot of different things going. It reminded me a little bit about Big Bang Theory, as far as kind of a later version of friends i'd say as far as i can definitely see why it reached that pop icon kind of status within tv shows right i think friends definitely kind of paved the way for big bang theory to do what it did yeah just the level of interactivity within the shows the odd quirky storylines the kind of following the lives of these single people living in an interesting location which normally you wouldn't get to be privy to i think it definitely was a pioneer for several really good shows that followed it so um on today's episode we're going to talk about a few of our favorite episodes it ran for 10 years so obviously we can't um talk about them all but we've got a few of our favorite episodes to talk about and then um we've got some trivia questions for each other see um if my uh experience watching this show uh many times through uh will hold true and see how well steve remembers it or if i need to uh, make him watch it again. Yeah, let's see how much I slept through it the first time. No, I'm kidding. I didn't sleep through any of it. Well, it was wonderful. You really, um, I was worried at first, but you really caught on um, and you really seemed to enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. It really was. Okay, Steve, let's start by talking about um, what you found to be some of your favorite episodes. Um, obviously, you've just watched it one time through, so two could change um but what what's what are your favorites well i think you can't start talking about friends episodes without talking about a thanksgiving episode i feel like there's so many really good thanksgiving episodes which kind of draw your attention and uh, just give you the good vibes that come at that time of year where sometimes things just don't go according to plan as much as some planners like Monica really want them to just go smoothly and everything to be exactly how it should be. But then everybody else kind of comes in with their own agendas and how they want things to go. So I think for the first of my favorite episodes would definitely be a Thanksgiving episode in season eight, the one with the rumor. Um, if, for those of you not familiar with it, I'm sure a lot of people are at least familiar with it if they're friends, affectionates, aficionados, um, uh, the one with Brad Pitt, where he has the I Hate Rachel fan club, and, you know, just, just something about the fact that you have kind of that comedy and that play within kind of the celebrity and also just with the existing characters. I think it's a kind of interesting dynamic for sure. You were definitely looking forward to that episode for a long, long time. Um, yeah, that was the one I'd actually seen before. Like I'd never done a straight binge of it, but if you, growing up in the nineties, you would occasionally see friends on. And I remember seeing that one and I was like, 
there's definitely something to that. So I was definitely excited to get to that episode and it definitely held up as far as comedic value over the years with the yams and the but you've done so good with you know for Brad sure Pitt calling for the yams so for sure but let me tell you uh for those of you that are listening in on this podcast today if there was a thanksgiving episode steve was laughing let me just tell you though nothing got him harder than those i thanksgiving episodes so i'm glad at least one made your top listing of episodes Oh, for sure. How about you? Is there one of you can do a Thanksgiving or maybe a Christmas episode, or is there another one that's not either one that kind of stood out to you? Um. So my first of my favorite episodes, none of my favorite episodes um, from the three I picked were um, holiday episodes. Um, I enjoy the holiday episodes. Which is weird because you're such a big holiday person. Right. Um, But the first of my three episodes I picked, the first one is the one with the embryos. Um, And so obviously this is when um, Phoebe um, is talking to the embryos and and, um, does her things to be um, a surrogate. Um, But this is when the rest of the friends are playing the game to switch apartments. Um, And Ross is coordinating um the the game the trivia game that he made up and obviously it's it's Monica and Rachel against um Chandler and Joey and just the dynamics there all the trivia and just how worked up and excited they got um it's one of my favorites yeah she totally stole my number two one (laughs) that was definitely like it's okay I have other ones I can adapt but that episode was definitely a lot of fun just because you got to see the guy versus girl humor where you got to see the different motivations even between the sexes where it was very relatable where it's like oh well we want it for this and the gals are like no we want it for that so it was very cute and to see who knew each other best and some of the some of the things that you get to hear about the characters in that episode is always really fun yeah and you think you know how it's gonna go and then they throw some crazy loop in and you're like i'm sorry what just happened right so it's a lot of fun for sure okay sorry i stole one of your uh, favorite episodes but um i'm glad we're on the same page there So another one that would be a favorite of mine would be uh, an episode in season six, which is called the one where Joey loses his insurance. Okay. So for those of you all not familiar with this one, this is one where obviously Joey loses his insurance and like he kind of uses that to fuel his acting career because he's actually in a lot of pain. So it's pretty easy to act like someone in pain when you're, physically in pain and you don't have insurance to get it fixed at that time and so he's kind of in this oddball scenario where he has to play this dying character and he's literally kind of in this excruciating pain that can't get resolved till he finishes the gig so he can get his insurance back and on top of that you get a delightful episode with ross where once again you know kind of a weird scenario where Ross decides he wants to adopt a British accent for his classroom. So you get to see him (laughs) adopt a British accent and it's very hilarious. And uh, you got to see kind of the play in with, obviously some people know he does not always talk with a British accent. So then he's having to kind of balance that. So it's very funny. Nice, nice. Um, My second episode is um, from season five, and I know you're going to be very surprised, but season five is among the top of my, it's peak friends for me, Um, season five is. I love the whole run, but season five is definitely um, my favorite run of the show. And so my second two favorite episodes are actually both from season five. The first one is from the beginning of the season, um, and it's the one with all the kissing. Um, Surprise, surprise. (laughs) 
Um, this is where... Izzy likes romance? No, really? Yeah. Um, so this is after they get back from London. So Ross is distraught um, because... Well, it's his own doing, um, but Ross is distraught. But here's where Chandler and Monica um, are starting their relationship, and they're keeping it secret. Um, and so the just the shenanigans they go through, we get to see their relationship, but we also get to see they make some choices, and the shenanigans that ensue are, are pretty funny. What's probably one of the funniest moments for you within that episode as far as the ridiculousness that they get into. Oh, the bathtub scene. Yeah. Uh-huh, where they're taking a bath and how they're both fitting in the bath, like, that's a separate point entirely. Um, but Joey comes in, um, and so Monica hides, and then Joey leaves, and Chandler's like, sorry, I couldn't get him to leave. Um, and she's like, what did he want? He's like, he, he wanted to know if I wanted chicken. And Monica goes, I could go for some chicken. So, I mean, it's something, it's funny that, you know, everybody can relate to wanting chicken. Um, but it's funny. It, it always got me to that. Then he leaves and Chandler says, yeah, a two piece um, chicken. Who just orders two pieces of chicken? Like, even if it's just for yourself, like girls, okay, maybe I can understand. But Chandler, order some more chicken, especially if you're going to be sharing. True story. I mean... You got to eat. And if someone's going to bring you fried chicken, you definitely got to take advantage of that because that doesn't come around every day. Maybe it's two really big pieces of chicken. I don't know. I've always wondered that, though. Okay. Okay. So for my last one, there are definitely a few that would get honorable mentions. I'd go... There's one. I don't know what the episode is. It's called Chandler's Bath. Like Where Chandler the, takes a bath. Yeah. Um, uh, that one was hilarious. That's an honorable mention. The one where Ross got high. The one with the ski trip, which is in season three. And the one with Rachel's dream in season nine. But I'd say... But I'd say the one that stood out to me and would probably be my third one would be the one with all the football, which is season three. Another football, another Thanksgiving episode. Another Thanksgiving episode. The Thanksgiving ones really got me on that one, on this run of friends. So I really enjoyed it. Just once again, the comedy between sports. There's always, if you've ever played sports, whether it was professionally or high school or college, there's definitely, or even just a pickup game, there's definitely a level, there's varying levels of skills and, like, once again, motivations as to why they're there. So I think that definitely played out. And it's hilarious when you see adults being kind of ornery and being like, well, I want to do this. Can I do this? So it was just very fun. Very nice. Okay. Before I get to my last episode, I'll give it an honorable mention here. And it's one that almost made um, my list. But I just I can't do it just yet. Um, the one with Ross's tan hilarious that was a funny episode um uh, that's that's ross is at his prime there when ross tries to get his hand but my third favorite episode here that i'm going with this on this on this list is actually a two-parter um so it's the one um in vegas um and there's part one and part two so it actually aired separately um but i think on the dvd it's it's one episode um for if you have the whole series on DVD, but it's the one in Vegas. Um, so it's, we get to see, um, Phoebe's excited to get out of town and go to Vegas. Um, and she's having fun with Joey and their shenanigans. Um, Monica and Ray, Monica and Chandler are, um, debating getting married and, you know, they're going through some stuff. And then, Ross and Ross and Rachel, well, they run into some trouble. Um, and so just like the duos all, I think, have their own things going on here. But it works really well for this episode. And it really moves the, the story along the line. Story line along. Um, and so I, I really appreciated this episode. Yeah, I can see that. Just there are definitely those key transition episodes, which kind of move the ball forward whether it's a scene in a story or it's 
like you said, the two episodes within the the season, they definitely take a big step forward as far as these characters' journeys. And this is at the end of season five. The one with the kissing is at the beginning. So I kind of have, like, I have the beginning and end of season five there. Yeah, I mean, I can see that, why you'd enjoy that. Because you get, it's almost like the bridge between the first half of Friends and the second half of Friends. Right. So with that in mind, Steve, what was kind of your favorite season or era of Friends? It's tough because looking at my list, a lot of the episodes are in later seasons from probably four to eight. Um, But that said, I can honestly say... I wasn't sold on Friends season one, but season two is the one that kind of got me. They had a bunch of celebrity guests, whether it was Julia Roberts, Tom Selleck. So I think that's, I'd have to go season two just because of the sheer amount of celebrity guests you got. Aww. So would you go season five? I would. Um... I mean, I love it all, I think, for any show that you can watch multiple times, multiple times a year. Um, you've got to love the entire run, and I do, but I think season five is my favorite. Who would you say of the Friends characters is the strongest in season five? Monica and Chandler. Yeah, I can see that. That It's definitely the prime of their arc, so for Right, sure. right. So. And it's would you say it's the most romantic of the friends seasons as far as concerning the main characters yeah for sure i know a lot of people who are team ross and rachel and it's not like i'm not i just think overall monica and chandler have the better overall story yeah it's definitely more of a back and forth with ross and rachel where they have their good times and they have their pretty low times right okay so before we get into some trivia do you want to give friends a hot tamale ranking (sighs) <sighs> that's dangerous ground because is, is this the first tv show we've actually given it it is it is okay um it's so tough with a show like friends because there's so many seasons to kind of contend with so there's one where you're like oh that was great and then another one where you're like it's still good but was it as that high of your favorite season um yeah i think i know what i'd give it okay are you ready yes ready go and it's out of 10 or five Five. we've done everything else out of five okay then i'd have to give it a four okay solid respectable yeah like i feel like it's in the middle ground for me right now because i don't have the nostalgia of watching it multiple times but i think it's definitely one that I enjoyed and would enjoy again. I think the replay value of it's really high. So I'd give it a solid four. I, I'm guessing you're going to give it a five? No, I'm going to go 4.5. Okay. So um, middle ground there. Yeah, 4.5 out of five hot tamales um, for friends for me. I do have the nostalgia. Um, it's a show, like I said, I can watch any time if it's on TV and I just catch reruns or if I need a show to binge, it is a show. Um, like you said, there are some moments that are a little slower to get through, so it's not a perfect um, show, um, but 4.5 out of 5 hot tamales for me. All right, Steve, are you ready to play some Friends trivia? Probably not, but I'm going to give it the best shot I can. Okay, do we want to go like 5 and 5 or go 1 and 1? I think we go five and five, so. Okay. You know, do you want to go first or second? Um, I'll ask you the questions first. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Question one. What is the Joey special? The Joey special. It's a food. It's a food. It is a... I know it's some kind of sandwich. Joey's favorite food is a sandwich. Uh Uh-huh. But the the Joey special is something different. It's... 
and I'm gonna say pizza. Oh, close. The Joey special is two pizzas. I guess pizza. I feel like I should at least get partial credit for Okay, that I will give you credit for this question if you can tell me what Joey's favorite sandwich is. I don't know that one. I guess pizza. I feel like... I'm not, I'm not sure what the sandwich is called. A meatball sub! See, I knew it was, it, it was a very common sandwich. I should have gotten that. So you can take away my points if you want. Okay, okay. But, but but I did get, for the record, I did get pizza. So if it comes to a tiebreaker, which mm. it's it, it totally uh, good. Uh, okay, question uh, two. What's Chandler's middle name? I knew you were going to ask this one, and I did not Google it because <laughs> I didn't care, honestly. <laughs> um, Meredith. Close, Muriel. Damn. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Question three. What does Phoebe legally change her name to after her wedding? Oh, that's ridiculous. I can remember what. Banana Rama? So close. You're on the right track. Um. Do you have a do you have another guess? No, that's it. Ugh. Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. So close. Can you uh, I I've got a bonus question for Phoebe too here. Um can you tell me Phoebe's alter ego name? She has an alter ego? Yeah, like when she she and Joey are talking about giving out fake names. Um and this is her fake name that she gives out if she doesn't want to tell somebody her real name. I'm just doing terrible at this. <laughs> Regina Falange. Oh yes, of course. Look her up. Okay, well, you're you're not doing so well. Question four. I still hold I should get pizza. Question four. Who was Monica's first kiss? Is this multiple choice? It's one of the friends. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna it was Chandler. Close. She thought it was, but it was really Ross. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. The show. <laughs> the show. So she accident. her first kiss was accidentally her brother. Okay. Question five. How many pages was on Rachel's letter to Ross? 18. I'll give you credit. 18 pages front and back. See, you're so hard on me. I guess I feel like I should at least get two of these. <laughs> I guess pizza. I'll give you pizza could be plural. One and a half points. Okay. Well, I'll go back and show you the clip from, or we'll watch the episode where Joey says the Joey special. But I'll give you one and a half points. Okay. Question one What is the name of Phoebe's very enthusiastic date played by Alec Baldwin? Oh! <gasps> I'm drawing a blank. I know how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is wrong, but I'm going to guess Alex. No, it is Parker. Mm. Parker. Yeah. Okay, this is the easy one. I'd be very surprised if you don't get this one. No. Uh, which book did Joey agree to read if Rachel read The Shining? Little Women. Yes. Season six, what did Monica give Chandler for Christmas? Season six would have been um, when they were planning the wedding or, yeah, it would have been either right before they got engaged or when they were planning the wedding. Um... She gave him a mixtape. She did not. She gave him a water purifier. Mm. Wow. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. Which actor's haircut does Monica want when she asks Phoebe to cut her hair? Oh, I know this. I know this. Um, I can see her. I know, right? 
to be more. That is correct. Yeah. Good job. Huh? Doing a little happy dance here. Uh -huh. I feel like I was a lot easier on you than you were on me with the, with the question. I've seen a lot of friends. What is Rachel's full name? Rachel Karen Green. It is. Is that, a, is that the fifth question? That's the fifth question. How many points did I get? You got three. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed I didn't do a clean sweep, but that's okay. Good job, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up for this episode of Entertainment Safari. We hope you've um, enjoyed this um, episode here on a different on something other than a movie here. Um, if you haven't seen Friends, it's a show that I'd recommend to a lot of people. Um, it, while it did come out in the 90s, like Steve said, it holds true today and it's still very relatable. There's not too many um, outdated references or anything like that. Any final thoughts, Steve? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think if you just wanted a good kind of sitcom kind of precursor to some of the ones that you probably have already seen um like how i met your mother or big bang theory or some of the ones like that i think if you enjoyed those you'll definitely enjoy friends this is definitely not new content for you out there but uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode where we uh uh did something a little different had some fun with it played a little game so uh our next episode uh we're talking about uh obi-wan uh the new series on disney plus and playing some star wars trivia so i'm sure steve will get me back there i hope so that was a rough go <laughs> so we'll see you next time on entertainment safari take care